Okay, what's up, everybody? I'm back with another video right now. Now I'm about to get into some bad boy news. You know, y'all know on my website I got a session called It's Bad Boy Bitch. Alright, so of course I gotta come with some bad boy news. Shout out to all my bad boy connects. Shout out to y'all. Alright, anyways, Danny became, if y'all haven't heard, it's official. It's official, official, because that official. Danny King are no longer a group. Danny King are broken up. It's official split. That's how it is. All right, now, if y'all saw the promotional video I put on my website as far as for making the band four, comes out like February 12th on MTV at 9 p.m. Check it out. Um, anyways, you saw that it was only Andrea and Dawn from the group on the show that Diddy was talking to, and of course you saw Day 26. And of course you saw Donnie. Now, you can see Aubrey, you can see Shannon, you can see D Woods. D Woods, she just didn't even show it to the, uh, to the finale or the live finale. She didn't even show it there. She um, didn't show it this season as well. Shannon, she left basically because she's a team player. And that's why I see her head at. I see that if there's no team, there's no play at all. So I see where she came with that because, you know, she was like the very motherly person of the group. So I could see where her position was. Aubrey, you know, her work, she's doing Playboy and everything like that. But D Woods and Dawn, like, I mean, D Woods, I said D Woods and Dawn. Dawn and Andrea, like, you know, their hearts are still in the group. You can really see that. Especially for the show that's coming up, you can really see that their hearts are in the group for real and that they really want to see it work out. I mean, these two basically, you know, came from nothing and, you know, they just wanted to make something out of the whole situation. They wanted to be the big stars of the universe basically. And, you know, like I said, all of them are very cool people. You know, I saw them in Philly, January. All of them are very cool people. But, I mean, it's just one of the things you're going to see coming. You never saw this whole thing coming, the whole train just stopping like this. I mean, from the first album that came out, they proved that a TV group can be very successful. Their first album, they beat at number one, The Outcast, beat Christina Aguilera, had a top ten hit with Showstopper, Went platinum, sold a million copies, went on tour with Christina Aguilera, you know, did some stuff overseas. I mean, it just showed how big of a group that they are, and how the magnitude that they could go. So, I mean, when it came to the Welcome to the Dollhouse album last year, it really showed that they had to come and prove that they are here to stay and that it's, it's the reason why their first album went platinum. So, you get to Welcome to the Dollhouse album, they do that number one. You know, because the, they became the first group in Billboard history to have their first, I mean, the first female group in Billboard history to have their first album and their second album debut at number one. So they had a record right there. Also, Damage, another top ten hit for them. Played on every pop station imaginable in the U.S. It was on every pop station. It was one of the most played pop songs of 08. So shout out to DK for that. And uh, also, I mean... The video was nominated for three VMAs. They were nominated for a BET award. I mean, it was just, they were just really starting to get to that point where it was about to be real huge, real big. And just to see it all in like this is just crazy. And, you know, I'm just hoping that if any of y'all watching this video or any of y'all family members watching this video, any of y'all friends watching this video that know what's up with DK, you know, I put my two cents in too, you know, as far as, you know, seeing how things are going. But, I just want to see y'all come back together, just talk to something, like, y'all could have been a real huge group, like, y'all was up to that point, like, y'all beat Pussycat Dolls and album sales right now, like, y'all album selling more than Pussycat Dolls album, and, I mean, to see all this, and, like, this is crazy, like, you know, it kind of goes along with the stereotype of making it fan, as far as y'all, I mean, y'all slash the stereotype that, you know, if you're doing a TV show, your first album is going to be your second album to sell. You know, y'all think I'm with gold right now, it's almost platinum. But when you get to the stereotype of the Making a Band brand, you know, when the first Making a Band came out, the one that Diddy had no part of, when it was Old Town, you know, they, they first album did good, come with the second album, they break up. The second album, they broke up basically because it was a flop. So, I mean, so it come anyways. The band, we know the first album went gold, they blew that number two, you know, they were... The group. I'm not going to really get into them, but um, it kind of didn't make sense for the whole format of the group. Still, to this day, it really didn't make sense. It was interesting, but it still didn't kind of make sense. So, we get to that, and then they in the middle of recording the second album, and then things just 
start going downhill within the group internally to the point where Diddy had to disband the group. So, you know, you, you know, basically, they're left nowhere now. Now, you get to Danny the King. First album, very successful platinum. Second album, go almost platinum. They break up. There's stuff inside internally in the group. And then you have, what you call it, Day 26 now. They're working on their second album. The second album comes out in March. Are they next? You know, so, you know, it's just about things that's going to break that cycle. And as far as Danny Kane goes, you know, people saying Don the Snitch, Don did this and that. She tried to secure a solo deal and stuff like that. You know, here's how I see it as far as the Bad Boy brand. Their first single came out last January. They was doing the radio promo and all that, so they was doing their thing. But, wait, let me turn my channel real quick. All right. I got the four minutes. So they was doing their thing and all that, but it wasn't getting a very good promotional push that it needed. Like, the video came out, like, two weeks before the album came out, you know. And I think Bad Boy tried to, you know, I think it was smart. And at the end of the day, it was smart because, you know, you had a song that came out back in January didn't give it that much of a promotional push at first, but then when the album comes out, it still got people's interest because when the album came out, that's when it started really finally going up the radio airplay, so it was a smart move. But, I mean, as far as the group, though, internally, their issues, you know, you got a lot of naysayers out there. You got people putting stuff in your head saying, oh, this person's about that, that person's about that. And, um, you know, that really comes with the territory of success. Some people can handle it, some people can't. Some people fall into the trap, some people don't. I think these five women were a victim of that. I think they fell into the trap of people saying this and that, saying this person getting that special treatment, that person getting that amount of special treatment, that they let it fall to the group. And hopefully, maybe one of y'all can work it out, talk it out, because your album is amazing. It's still one of the hottest albums on my playlist right now. And I wish that, you know, y'all was working on the third album. The third album was about to be real huge. But just that point that y'all let people come in and say this and that and affect the group, that's just crazy. And, like, it shouldn't have even had to go down like that for real. And also, like, when, um, let me check my time one more time, y'all. All right. So I got two minutes. So basically when, like, Arby said that the Diddy saying how, you know, she felt, you know, I mean, I, so, I looked at it as, you talking to a supervisor. You know, there are times you have to talk to your supervisor and let them know what's going on. If you really let them know what's going on, sometimes you get fired. But at the same time, it's a business, though. Daniel King are a brand now, so you're trying to protect the brand, so you got to talk business for real. It's like, I'm not talking to my boss now. Now I have to talk to my business partner to see what's really going on with the brand, what's really happening. So I saw I saw that as that, and I, didn't, I really don't think Arby should have left now. I think I said in the video that I think she should have left because how she was portraying the brand. But as far as for sticking up to everything, you know, she shouldn't have got, you know, she shouldn't have been booted out for that. But now that I've seen her doing Playboy and stuff, it's like, and her complex magazine photo spread, I was like, boy, that wasn't a good look because y'all are, y'all do have the denim jean line for teens. And that wasn't a good look for that. But, and, um, like, I just hope y'all come and do something, bring it all together. Uh, I may do another video on this, like, in a few hours or whatever, but just to give y'all familiar with this video, just to let y'all know that, you know, DK, y'all got fans out here that's wanting y'all to come back and do something real hard. Y'all shut y'all shut down the game for real because y'all a hot group that can actually sing, you know, they can shout, they, they did their thing. They could all sing and everything like that. Y'all can all sing too, like, and y'all were just on that plateau of just being huge and everything like that. The tour, when I went to the tour in Baltimore, amazing a show for like a group that's headlining the tour for the first time. So just hopefully y'all come to talk and do something. Hopefully I can get an interview. So um, shout out to Bad Boy. Watch Making the Band 4, Season 3, Part 2, a.k.a. Season 4. And on MTV, February 12th at 9 p.m., right before America's Best Dance Crew at 10 p.m. That's my promotional push. And I hope y'all like this video, and I'll get y'all later. All right.